Up next, the Suns taking on the Nuggets. For the Suns, consistency is their goal. They want to win each half, each quarter, each possession. Nuggets, Suns, we'll be right back for the tip. Great to have you with us as we get ready for a Monday afternoon presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And this is Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Allie LaForce, our reporter tonight. Allie, it's all yours. Well, Devin Booker went through the lean years in Phoenix. He said, quote, I just put my head down and I work. I've been through a lot, honestly. But just being who I am and seeing the bigger picture, I had the tunnel vision to know what this can be. Brian, a lot of players in that situation haven't been able to see it through like he did. That's true, Allie. Good stuff there. So let's take a look at the Phoenix Suns starting lineup. The deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt. Kevin Durant is out there with DeAndre Ayton. And it's Okogie in at the three. And for the Nuggets... Murray and Caldwell Pope are the backcourt pairing. Gordon is the four with the Joker in the middle. And it's Porter in at the three, the small forward. Well, these Suns have had a successful past couple of seasons. Yeah, B.A., I mean, they certainly know the greatness they're capable of. They can give you a lot of confidence out there on the floor, even against other elite teams. Now here's Paul. Pass to Okogi. Back to Paul. Five to shoot over Jokic. Another shot. Unable to get that one. Now Denver takes it the other way. Here's Caldwell Pope. Outside Murray. Jokic up top. Drops in the layup for two. I don't know if you knock Jokic off balance so much. You're just hoping that he misses something like that. And here's Paul. Pass to Durant. Drills the baseline jumper. I mean, what do you expect when you give him the clear look? That's just too easy. Now he's automatic from the mid-range, and the defense knows that. It's a mistake to give up a shot like that. And it's Murray finishing it off. And a great job, Murray, just getting inside the defense and knifing his way in. First quarter, just over a minute play. That's going to be over and back. I'm watching the line on that one. Whose ball? Nuggets ball. And so here is Denver. Jokic in the post. He's against Aiton. The baseline, Jay. Out of bounds, it'll be Phoenix's ball. I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one, errant pass. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by. Pass to Durant. Eight inside. Covered by Jokic. And Aiden gets it to go. Yeah, if Aiden can get in that kind of position, he can be a bully on the inside. Murray against Paul. Murray passes to Jokic. And Jokic throws it down. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. And it didn't take long for Phoenix to match the offer sheet Aiden signed with the Indiana Pacers. Now, there was talk they might let Aiden walk after that fallout during their playoff exit. But Phoenix knew they needed to keep Aiden to remain a contender. Booker, Booker good. And this is the type of play where Devin Booker is going to gain a lot of confidence and might start getting aggressive. And it's Murray off the drive. And that one drops for him. The defensive effort was lacking a bit. But hey, give him credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. 
I love this approach. Getting him involved early, and it's already paying off. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Here's Gordon. Oh, Over the top. are you kidding me? Wow, amazing. Man. And it's flushed down. A nice jam. Aaron Gordon with the nasty dunk. For Phoenix, they've gone four of seven, shooting a solid percentage. Pass to Okogi. Back to Paul. Now here's Durant. Wide open. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. Durant's got six. These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. Murray passes to Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. And I like that for Murray. Not an extra dribble. Get the ball to the open teammate right away. The Suns have gone five of eight. Solid opening quarter for them. Pass to Okogi. Back to Paul. Here's Booker. Another one falls for Phoenix. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Now a timeout called by Denver. Already a terrific career for Booker. Three-time All-Star. And then last year, he was named to the All-NBA First Team. Just a big honor. And the Nuggets going with a whole new group out there. And the Suns will go for a different look here. Biombo, he's checked in for Aiton. Craig comes in for Okogi. Lee, he's checked in for Devin Booker. And Payne is subbed in for Paul. And then Bryant with the dunk. Ish Smith on the pick and roll, operating, guiding his man perfectly to the basket with that pass. The Suns trailing, and with Booker, it's not just the scoring. Grant, he does a little bit of everything. Hey, VA, I mean, you go back and look at last season. He had career highs in rebounds, steals, blocks. I mean, he's learned how to affect the game, even when his shot isn't falling, which is rare. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Nuggets. Denver ball. And the Suns making a change here. Ross is checked in. Suns substitution. Terrence Ross. One forty-six left in the first. Payne against Smith. Up top, Bryant. Ooh, nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. Bryant's got his second bucket of the game. And good recognition for Bryant to head right to the hoop. A minute 31 left in the first quarter of the game. Payne pass to Ross. Greg up top. And there is a whistle. That'll go on Thomas Bryant. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. Phoenix has possession. They trail by three. Ross passes to Payne. Clock at six. Denver grabs the miss. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And a chance to catch up on That's some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. Well, we've seen them take advantage of the lanes given to them so far. The defense isn't plugging it up, and it's being exploited. Well, not only that, but you love how unselfish they've been to start this game. That's going to get all the guys in a great flow and feeling good. So moving that ball around and scoring off assists, it's a nice way to play. Now here's Ross. Pass to Craig. Fades away. He can't get it to go. Denver in the lead. Wow, potent offense. It's been fun to watch. <laughs> Just aggressive and effective. Taking it right to the defense. A terrific job by Smith to dish that one off to his open teammate right there. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Pass to Ross. And stolen by Green. And here we go. The Nuggets on the fast break. And he gets the bucket. Green's got five. 
really taking charge of the game, largely with the detailed interior attack. Well, how good have they been on the inside tonight, just getting down into the painted area, dominating, controlling that spot. First one falls for him. Ten draws. Two shots. Hits both from the stripe. There's 14 seconds left to play in the first. Jackson against Payne. Jackson, pass to Bryant. Yes, and a nice assist from Jackson. Six points for him. They played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. Yeah, you wondered if they would take some time to find their A game. They did it at jump ball. They've been awesome. And so it's Denver ending the quarter up 10. What has them in front right now? By and large, they're taking great shots. We'll be right back with you shortly. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And from what you've seen from the Nuggets, what you take so far? They're getting a big contribution from the bench already. Yeah, looking for a spark here, and the coach tapped the right guys to get out there and provide it. Well, as you know, Grant, this game can be so hard on your body. As a player, how do you determine the difference between being hurt versus being injured? That's a great question, B.A. Look, sometimes as players, you need someone to protect them from themselves. Today's game, the teams today are so smart about protecting players and preventing them from getting worse but it really comes down to the players the doctors the team overall just being smart and having a big picture about the injuries on the floor for Phoenix the deadly pair of Paul and Booker are the backcourt DeAndre Ayton is out there with Kevin Durant and it's Okogi in at the small forward position pulls up misses off the right iron that's a shot he'd like back he's usually going to make those Paul with it. Now Porter defending. Aiton against Jokic. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Okogi. Over Murray. Okogi's shot is off. And Denver has possession. 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Murray passes to Jokic. Ooh, excellent D there from Aiton. Phoenix is shooting 46%, a decent average so far. And guys, over the last several years, Denver's been top 10 in offensive rating. Now, they played a slower pace, but made the most of their possessions. The Nuggets making a switch here. Caldwell Pope's checked in. Pass to Booker. And stolen by Murray. And Caldwell Pope gets it to go. Caldwell Pope's got his first points of the night. Jamal Murray's hands on defense right there being disruptive and staying active. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Boy, this Denver team, great offensively over the last couple of seasons. How so? Well, B.A., they execute in the half courts. It's pretty simple. I mean, so difficult to do against NBA defenses. Now, normally they have multiple ball handlers on the floor, guys who can make quick decisions. Going all in, that was the 2K drive. Well worth a second look. Oh, I love the mindset to get at the rim right there. He knows they're down and wants to spark a comeback. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, guys, Commissioner Silver's open to change. He said, quote, we're not beholden to pure tradition. We care a lot about it, but all the factors I think about when we talk about changing the rules, I'm less concerned about that. We should live in the present, be respectful of those records, but also be willing to adjust when it makes sense. B.A.? All right, thanks, Alec. Pass to Okogi. There's the three. It's good. The assist that time from Paul. Three. Paul's got four assists now tonight. Chris Paul came into the league playing unselfish, continues to do so. What a dime. Down low, Jokic. Oh, oh man. Oh, my he goodness. had the runway, oh, and he let it rip. Nice. 
Tomorrow morning, and this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. Phoenix calls timeout. And the Phoenix Suns have been a completely different team since acquiring Chris Paul. He's the leader of this team, and he helps set the tone on both ends. Here in quarter two, we played a little over two and a half minutes now. Outside Booker. Pass to Durant. Over Gordon. Durant's shot is off. Boy, the city of Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrives. Yeah, I mean, he's in the latter stages of his career now. But you would never know it based on how hard he plays every he single fine. night. It just makes everyone on this team so much That's better. Well, when we talk home court advantage, you think the Nuggets have the best in the NBA? Well, I think so, B.A. And it has to do with geography. Denver is at altitude, and that's hard on your body. Trust me, I know. And they're isolated from the rest of the league, so it always is a long trip out there as well. Michael Porter Jr. continuing to be pressed off the floor with these injuries to get himself righted back and healthy and make contributions at a high level. Craig has checked in for a Kogi. Porter hits them both. Well, a big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. You don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. And Get there's the foul. foul. It'll go on Aaron Gordon. That's his first foul. Smith, he's checked in for the Nuggets. Checking in the game for your Nuggets, it's Smith. Smith against Paul. Left side Durant. Tries it from 19. Yes! And it's Paul with the assist that time. Paul's got his fifth assist in this one. Jokic with it. He's got 10. And Gordon with the big finish. So dangerous in the pick and roll. Jokic surveying not just the guy that's on the cut, but the entire floor. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Paul passes to Craig. Back to Paul. Knocked away. Ooh, stolen by Smith. Pass to Murray. Soft touch off the glass. Murray's got his third basket on the night right there. Meeting the defense with a tenacious will to score. Murray giving you that effort. And it's Ish Smith with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. A different look for Denver. Bryant, he's checked in for Nikola Jokic. Green comes in for Gordon. And it's Brown in for Smith. And the Suns will go for a different look here. Biombo, he's checked in for Aiton. Ross comes in for Durant. Lee, he's checked in for Booker. And Payne is subbed in for Paul. And it's Murray off the drive. And it's Murray finishing it off. He's got so many tools, and then you forget how good Murray is athletically. Gets up that time. There's a minute 34 left to play in the half. So much NBA talent like Jamal Murray out of Canada, specifically the province of Ontario. Yeah, very true. And I think that's because guys like Murray, born in the late 90s, they grew up with the NBA in Toronto. And Jamal and others have been inspired by the Raptors. Lee misses. And here's Denver. They're on a 16-7 run. Murray against Payne. Comes up empty down low. The Suns have gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Inside, here's Craig. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. After a tough decade for the Suns between 2010 and 2020, they are once again a team to be reckoned with in the NBA, Brent. Oh, man, the cachet of talent that this roster has is tremendous, and this team really came together in a hurry, and they're going to be a force for the next few years to come. Najee, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. I look at this Denver team, and you just expect them to be good for a long time. Obviously, MVP and Jokic, but their best players, all young, signed the long-term deals. They should be able to compete. 
51 seconds left in the first half of this one. Outside Ross. Back to Payne. To the paint. Down to five on the shot clock. That went off the back iron and out. The Nuggets have gone eight of 11 in the second quarter. The drive by Murray. And that comes off the assist by Green. Murray's got six here in the quarter. Jamal Murray just taking his game to another level in the bubble in 2020. This guy plays with a lot of heart. And he's going for the oop here. Oh. And it goes out of bounds. That so one off far. green. Yeah, a communication breakdown. <laughs> Two guys thinking in opposite right. directions. Yes. The pass winds up in the stands. He's such a good free throw shooter. You don't want to foul him unless it's absolutely necessary. First free throw is good. At the line for the Suns, Terrence Ross. Daddy makes both free throws. Out of bounds. It'll be Suns ball. Yeah, that's a tough one. An experienced player in the pro game shouldn't be making that pass. Here's Ross, now off the inbound, and he knocks the jumper down. Ross has got six points. Well, Picasso couldn't have drawn that up any better. Perfect execution off the inbound. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. The Nuggets on top, leading by 17. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks a lot, guys. I'm here alongside Coach Malone and Coach, a strong first half for this team. What was clicking for you? I love that ball movement, taking care of the ball, and that's something we've been harping on. Make a play for somebody else, and I thought we had many examples of that. Got to help yourself. Thanks, Coach. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. After two quarters, it's Denver out in front. They are way out in front, leading by 17. Kenny, what was your impression? They played smart, they took their time, and limited mistakes. When you value each possession, you eventually will get the shot you want. But when you lose the ball, you have no control over the ball. And over to Shaq. What did you think about Phoenix? They've been struggling to get shots in general, but down low, they've been paper soft. I hate to say it. Giving up way too many easy looks. They can't protect the rim more effectively in the second half. It's going to be a long ride. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? For the second half here, a big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Really an incredible game from Jamal Murray. He's been excellent at cutting through the defense and giving them fits around the basket. And you want these kind of nights where you can start to see those openings before they happen. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Gordon is the four, with the Joker in the middle. Caldwell Pope and Porter Jr. They're the two and the three. And it's Murray in at the point. That's the group in the game for the Nuggets. You can get away with one once in a while, but it looked like he wasn't completely set on that pick. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Nuggets foul. Contavious Caldwell Pope. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Aiden inside. Working on Jokic. Back to Aiden. Gordon with a steal. Murray passes to Porter. To the middle. Here's Jokic. Poke loose. 
got to appreciate the aggressive defense he brings. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there oh, at all times. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. And the shot goes down. <laughs> Jokic just got 12 points. Some nights Jokic is patient where he plays the role of the setup man. But tonight, he's setting his own table. Pass to Okogi. Back to Paul. Now Aiden. Outside Booker. That one a little long. I've gotten used to Devin Booker putting up huge numbers, so a 40-point game for him feels like another day at the office. And it's Jokic, that time on the assist by Gordon. 14 points for him. Good job reading the floor. Aaron Gordon solid at sensing when someone's open. Back come the Nuggets on the run. Here's Caldwell Pope. And he jams it home with authority. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. I have to be careful with the ball or this is what happens. Well, you talk about Booker's high-powered offense. He's a rare member of the 70-point club with only five other players in NBA history. Brent, you got Wilt, Moving Kobe, swing. David Thompson, Elgin Baylor, and David Robinson. Man, B.A., if you could sit Taking down game, at a table to talk about your 70-point night, I'd like to be a server at that table. And the Nuggets making a change here. Smith's checked in. The Nuggets have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Jokic. Oh, he hits that one. Eight for 11 and remaining a thorn in the D side. Their offense has been unstoppable. Just firing on all cylinders. And this team is just dangerous. Right now, every shot that they're putting up feels like it's going in. Outside Booker. Oh, and the jam by Aiton. Just great hands for Aiton to time that one. The Nuggets have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. He's got a clear path. Here's Paul. And he lays it in on the break. Paul's got his second bucket of the night. <laughs> they began the play with active defense, and they finished the play with active offense. Well, a lot of times coaches will tell you that if you play great defense, you're going to get a reward. It's a good possession all the way around. To the left side wing. Jokic against Paul. Jokic, good. Jokic has got eight here in this quarter. Such an outstanding effort there for the big man to stay focused with his shot. Jokic, tremendous concentration. Well, the Suns shooting 54% from the field so far in this one. Pass to Okogi. Smith against Paul. Outside Booker. The three. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. For Denver, they've got five of six shots to fall so far in the third. Here's Gordon. And it's out of bounds. Still Denver's ball. A different look for Denver. Bryant, he's checked in for Jokic. Green comes in for Gordon. And it's Brown in for Caldwell Pope. And the Suns also making a change. Craig's checked in. Here's Porter. Pass to Bryant. Unloads from 13. Doesn't go that time. To the inside. Here's Paul. Here's Aiton. And it goes. As the official calls the foul. Count it. And he'll shoot one more at the line. Najee. He's checked in for Denver. Jackson comes in for Smith. That's good from Aiton. Man, such a heartbreak last year as the Phoenix Suns had the opportunity to return to the finals, and it just felt like they were destined to get back there. That was their most wins in the season in franchise history. And it just didn't play out that way. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. Yeah, it feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping. Two minutes. Two minutes. Pass to Lee. 
Craig against Green. Oh, they get a hand on it. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Craig. The Suns' regular season dominance last year speaks to this team's strength. Oh, yeah, they are so tight between the connection of the coaching staff and the point guard and CP3. These guys have talent. They've been through the ups and downs. They know what it takes to get to the top of the mountain. Make no mistake, this Phoenix team is playing to win it. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Jackson's got three assists now in this one. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Nuggets. Well, their D has been a major story tonight. I mean, those steals and putting pressure on the ball, clogging the passing lanes, impressive. Well, something else I've seen from them in this game is just how quick they are to capitalize on a turnover. I mean, they're pouncing on that stuff. You've got to be careful when you're handling the ball around them. Pass to Naji. That shot, no good. Oh, great D that time from Craig. Here's Payne. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Payne's got his first basket. Now that's excellent. Get the ball down deep inside and cash in on a simple basket. Jackson with it. Guarded now by Biombo. And then Bryant with the dunk. Well, there's playmaking ability and there's a willingness to attack the basket. And Jackson good at orchestrating that pick and roll. The Suns have gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Pass to Lee. Hayden with it. Oh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on Thomas Bryant. Shooting for Felix. DeAndre Ayton. That's good for Ayton. And Ayton, with that efficiency, just becomes an outstanding option for what you do offensively. Jamal Murray is checked in for Najee. And a change for the Suns. Ross, he's checked in for Lee. Aiden hits them both. They are blowing this one open. Maybe the only question is how big will this lead grow? About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. And then Bryant with the dunk. And Bryant with that kind of positioning, he's going to get the dunk. Well, Phoenix is shooting an excellent rate of 56% on the third quarter. Murray against Payne. Pass to Aiden. Over Green. That's good from Aiden. DeAndre on the assist by Payne. Aiden's got 11. Well, hitting that mid-range shot. This is right now probably the extent of Aiden's range. With two hands on the rock, he powers it through. Totally in control. Protecting the ball the whole way. It's been all about Nikola Jokic for Denver. Eight points in the quarter. Showing how effective he can be. We'll be right back. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Now, the passing for the team becoming contagious, this time involving the big. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. And the Suns shooting around 53%, a nice number. And so, in the game for Phoenix, we've got Terrence Ross, T.J. Warren out there with DeAndre Ayton. Then there's Campaign, and it's Biombo in at the five spot. A nice shot by Smith. A really good job by Reggie Jackson just finding the shooter and feeding him. Payne against Smith. Pass to Warren. Now here's Biombo. He's closely guarded. Nice shot by Ross. Ross. It's nice to see they're not settling for three-pointers. These guys are putting in the work inside. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Yes, make some noise for your DNT Junior. The Nuggets making a switch here. Jokic is checked in. And the Suns also making a change. Baisley's checked in.
Back to Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. Oh, 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 there's Serbia. Jokic up there. Now here's Payne. Outside Ross. Outside Warren. Pass to Biombo. And here's Payne. Covered by Smith. Warren, the pass to Ross. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Jackson. Kept alive. Baisley uses the glass to finish the layup. And Baisley just hustling to the hoop. He's got that kind of length to get in there and mix it up inside. Smith passes to Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. That's the guy they're going to keep going to as they should. The lead's only going up if they keep feeding him. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. Outside Warren. Up top Payne, covered by Smith. That shot wide open. Payne. Payne likes to get in there and score the ball. He can do it in a number of ways. Smith against Payne. A nice shot by Smith. Smith's got four points in the quarter. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. That was another look at our Mobile One drive of the game just a moment ago. And this is exactly what you love to see. Up big, not letting up, keep on applying pressure to their defense. Outside Warren. Let's it go from the wing. That one doesn't drop. Now Denver takes it the other way. Green, the pass to Jokic. Jokic throws it down. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Outside Ross. Pass to Baisley. The three is up. Jokic grabs the board. And I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. No good with the triple. It's tipped. Warren against Jokic. Biombo inside. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Jackson, the pass to Jokic. Oh, and he got wow. his down. <laughs> Jokic is a hard worker. That time, a terrific job of rolling into the open space after he set the screen. For Phoenix, they've got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Pass to Biombo. Warren with the ball. Outside Payne. Outside Ross. Eleven feet out and he hits it. Ross has gotten four this quarter. The Nuggets have gotten almost all of their shots to fall in the fourth. Six of seven. To the paint. And the dunk by Jokic. He just rises up and throws it down hard with one hand. That is such a go-to move for him. He holds nothing back on those. For Phoenix, they've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Pass to Biombo. Outside Warren. And here's Payne. Here's Baisley. Green covering. And another basket for Phoenix. Man, getting Baisley to do that where he's consistently hitting jumpers, that's the next step. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. Here's Jokic from the arc. Second shot opportunity. 
And what a complete performance we saw from them. A dominant win in every way for the Nuggets. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Nikola Jokic. He just does a great job of looking for space and then finding it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is giving you. Jordan's checked in for the Nuggets. Shamit, he's checked in for the Suns. At the line for one. The free throw drops for Jokic. Well, it's so hard to try to defend Joker. You never know what it is that he's going to do. And because of that great vision, he's got great counter. Outside Warren. Ross against Jackson. The shot. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. You gotta give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. We love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. Pass to Ross. Here's Baisley. Oh, and there's a one-hand jam. And Baisley has a chance here to show off why he is in this position. He's an athlete. Seven-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Jokic. And Biombo with the block. They get it back. Here's Smith. Goes back up. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. And the first one at the line is good. Smith taking two shots. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Here's Ross. Ooh, excellent D there from Jackson. Bryant from deep three-point land. And the three off target. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. Well, this might not have been the most competitive game we've ever seen, but you've got to appreciate their masterful performance. And I'm sure their fans appreciated it, too. We saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort. And they were just dominant out there. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. All right, thank you, Nicola. This team showed up tonight defensively. What can you say about the effort on that end of the floor? I mean, uh, it's a whole collectively, you know, it's uh, not just one guy, it's the five guys on the floor. Uh, so it's a coach, it's a bench, it's a fan. So thank you, thank you guys. Thank you a lot. Thanks to all. Thanks to you, Nicola. Back to you guys. Thanks, Ali. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. For Ali LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time.